tonight you do see the clouds. Those have started to move in. Nothing wild, nothing crazy. We'll get some sun breaks in here, but it is chilly from Sussex at 30 degrees, Poughkeepsie at 31, but a balmy 49 at Central Park, 40 in Islip. So again, we're watching a system off to the north and west. We have it producing some snow across the Great Lakes. We've got rain across the Ohio Valley. We'll see that come together and bring us some showers as early as tomorrow morning. So today is kind of one of those days, sun, some clouds, temperatures back close to where they were yesterday, upper 50s, and we'll see those 50s hang on straight through late tonight. More cloud cover heading into tomorrow morning, and then we'll talk about those showers, but not right now, and that means some dry roadways for the commute. That's one <laughs> bonus for today so far, Adele, but you've got slowdowns already. Yeah, we do have some slowdowns, but the dry road. And check in on the weather picture for this Wednesday, Maria. Good morning, guys. Yeah, it's a quiet weather picture right now. New City in New York, 41 degrees, currently headed back near 60 degrees. Southwest winds will be breezy at times later today. We'll be watching showers, though, on the radar by this time tomorrow morning, so I'll time it all out for you and a check on that split weekend in the 10-day forecast. Sort of right on track in a lot of ways, and one way to get everything starting to blossom, it's not just the warm high temperatures, but the not freezing low temperatures. And as you can see, at least for the city, the next week and a half, we get into the 30s by tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, by uh, next week in uh, some of those chilly mornings. But when you talk about that average last freeze, we're approaching that milestone date for Central Park. The average last freeze is March 29th. Obviously, you can get freezes after that, even into May, uh, but even JFK March 30th and then you get into April by uh, Newark, Bridgeport and Islip April 12th, your average last freeze. So what is uh, the weather going? Well, how the weather is playing out is not leading to those freezing temperatures. We have the cold air locked up to the north, high pressure to the south, warm flow today out of the south, and that's going to keep us on the above average side, at least for for a few days and then we'll be watching this next big system heading into the early part of the weekend. Still looking at a pretty chilly day on Saturday. We're looking good now. Temperature wise, we are above average and clear skies over at least Manhattan. We've got the battery at 45 degrees, city on it at 47, but you get to the north and west and it's pretty chilly. And with that southerly flow, a little on the cooler side today for areas along the coast, Patchogue 53 degrees away from the coast. It's back up near 60, new city at 62 today. Parsippany as well. 60 degrees in Jackson, but you can see from Asbury Park, Seaside Park and Long Beach, you're going to stay in the low 50s today. So if you want to take that walk along the beach or the boardwalk, definitely grab the jacket. And then overnight tonight, we'll definitely get the clouds in here, 49 degrees. And by tomorrow morning, looking at the showers moving in and we'll see them off and on throughout the day, but staying mild, 64 degrees for the high, those southwest winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour. A little bit of a break, a sort of just are no precipitation, so you can leave the rain gear at home, but you can see the clouds already starting to take over 37 in White Plains, 44 in Newark right now. We have ice slip at 34 and the city right now, a balmy 49 degrees. But yes, the clouds first. We're watching off to the west, the system that'll come together to bring us some showers by this time tomorrow morning. So in the meantime, enjoy what is going to be a pleasant enough day. Sun and clouds, more clouds than yesterday for sure. By four o'clock already pushing 57 degrees. We made it into the 60s yesterday and then with clouds even after sunset, that's going to help keep our temperatures up along with that southerly wind still in the low 50s through 10 o'clock. All right, let's see how your drive and your commute or just being out and about is shaping up so far. Adele, what's going on? Uh, we've got a few things going on. The big one being out e for us. Maria La Rosa standing by. Good morning. Good morning, Randy. Good morning, everyone. It is uh, quiet out there. We have some clouds and temperatures still in the 30s from Patterson and Livingston at Norwalk and Hempstead now at 42 degrees. By later on this afternoon, more clouds than sun and temps back into the 50s. But we're going to get some rain added in here and temps back in the 60s by tomorrow. The whole day planned out for you and a look ahead to the weekend in the 10 days ahead of us guys and it should be a pleasant evening for all the celebrations by the way and dry but we look past uh, this month so far and it's about split with uh, 10 days reporting above average high temperatures eight below average temperature days and I think we're going to end up with another red day today the idea though is that the next week or so it is going to be a little bit cooler than average or tend to be that way and just a reminder too it is that time of year where we not only see those high temperatures go up but those low temperatures 
temperatures too and we start to approach the date of average last freeze for Central Park. It's March 29th. Obviously we can get freezing temperatures after that, but this is an average for JFK March 30th. You can see you get to Newark Bridgeport Islip. Now we're pushing those average dates into April, so we don't really see many freezing temperatures in the forecast, certainly not for the city and certainly not this morning. Looking over Midtown right now from one of the cameras at Times Square, you see those brightening skies. It is mild now, at least at Central Park, 49 degrees. Outside the city, though, we've still dipped into the 30s, so grab that jacket. We have more clouds in the forecast today than yesterday, but still rather mild. By 1 o'clock, pushing the mid-50s, we're headed up to 59 degrees today, this afternoon. A little bit cooler, though, as you head to the coast. That's because we have that southerly flow off the cool water, keeping Merrick, Islip, Eastport, the Jersey Shore, about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than inland areas. So keep that in mind for today. Again, those peaks of sunshine, so it won't be completely cloudy. Still overall pleasant temperature wise certainly and then by tonight 49 degrees more clouds and we'll have some showers in the area by this time tomorrow and that's the key word showers it's not all day it's not gonna be terribly heavy but it's gonna keep the roadways damp even through tomorrow afternoon it'll be a mild one we get into the 60s again tomorrow afternoon before that boundary dips to the south and gives us a little bit of a cooler day lots of it we're also going to feel a little bit of that chill especially in, outside the city I'll show you some of the numbers we have Fairlawn at 30 Wayne 37 degrees City Island in the mid 40s, but we're down to 33 in Great Neck and in the 30s in Belrose. You head to the Hudson Valley in some areas below freezing New Pulse included Newburgh at 30 Poughkeepsie too, with Danbury and Mount Kisco now at 35. So we do have some clouds around, but the rainfall that we're going to be watching move in as we go through tomorrow morning holding off today. So the rain gear can stay home as far as temperatures go. It's going to be mild, not quite as warm and toasty as it was yesterday by four o'clock 57 degrees partly to mostly cloudy straight through the evening and no 10 o'clock temperatures still into the low 50s. So mild as we head into the overnight. All right, let's head into the morning commute because uh, a lot of slowdowns this morning. What are you watching? Uh, yeah, we're definitely seeing delays sprinkled throughout. Of course, Maria La Rosa. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's about that time. Maybe you're about ready to wake the little ones up for school, get in the mouth the door. No rain gear required, but a jacket this morning by lunchtime as sun and clouds. Another relatively mild day as we head up into the 50s, but dry now tomorrow and into Friday. How about some rain? Maybe even a few thunderstorms. I'll break down the impacts and a look ahead to the split weekend in the 10 day forecast. So much also everything uh, for today. We're sort of in a nice, comfortable zone where we're still going to see temperatures relatively above average, not quite as warm as yesterday. As you can see, more clouds than yesterday, too. But a pretty view via Earth Cam looking across the Hudson River and you see that little sliver of uh, that brightening sky. So we'll get some sun in too. 49 degrees out the door at Central Park. We do still have <coughs> excuse me, 30s across parts of the area outside the city. So you still want the jacket, but planning your day, we'll call it sun and clouds, especially early on. By noontime, up to 52 degrees will be about 57 by 5 o'clock. So again, relatively mild, not quite as warm as yesterday. 52 degrees and cloudy skies through 10 o'clock. So it'll be a mild overnight. It's still dry, but that changes by tomorrow morning. We have some of these showers creeping in. So the morning commute, this is not going to create major, major problems on the roadway. Nothing terribly heavy, but again, just enough. We're starting to see uh, the wetter weather pattern kind of take over for the next few days. You can see even through this after, or should say tomorrow afternoon and evening a chance for a shower, maybe a rumble of thunder, especially as you head toward the Delaware Valley heading into tomorrow night. So this is a boundary that's getting stretched out here, sort of stalls out. That's the alternating blue and red there stationary front. So that's going to keep the clouds around and for tomorrow on the warmer side of it by Friday, relatively cooler, and then we'll start to see that area of low pressure take shape and that is really going to wind up. It's going to kick up the winds and, of course, bring us the rainfall and the cooler temperatures. We spent all day Saturday in the 40s and, as you can see, finally beginning to wrap up by Saturday night. But the big turnaround is the other half of the weekend. So a split weekend. Sunday's going to be pretty nice. We'll be back up into the upper 50s. Yes, a little bit breezy, but more sunshine, of course, than Saturday. So that's 